Hi guys, Max from High on Cameras.com, where we get <laughs> on cameras sometimes. Anyway, I posted my photo on Instagram of me using my uh, Sony A7S II as a webcam. And I think some of you guys wondering how to use these high-end cameras and use as webcam. Because a lot of times people are doing these game live casts and they, they got that web webcam. No matter what webcam you use, um, your face looks just horrible. No bokeh, um, just a lot of noise. You can fix all that. Let me go ahead and show you how. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so first thing you will need is uh, one of these. This is an Elgato HD60. Uh, it allows you to stream games. Um, also, you can connect game consoles or it's HDMI. So you can actually connect any kind of cameras that has HDMI. There's other devices like this. I've got several other ones. I actually have two of these and I've got an Aver Media. That's nice. There's also some cheaper, newer ones. Also, you want to get one that's right for your resolution. This one tops out 1080p. I don't think there's actually one for 4K yet. There might be. Those might be very expensive. But most of you should be okay with 1080p. I do highly recommend this. Um, let me actually go ahead and show you. So let me grab my other camera. So right now, um, my camera's connected to, this is an awesome uh, Ninja Flame, Adamus Ninja Flame. I use it all the time. Now I wanted to, I used to use this, uh, I have it down here. <laughs> I used to use this Logitech but uh, any of these webcam, this is, this one's 1080p, but resolution looks just horrible. You don't get that nice bouquet. Um, so I mounted this up here, and I usually actually use this uh, during my live cast. Maybe when I was on live stream, I'll connect, you know, one of my nice cameras. Um, I've actually got a Sony A6300. I initially put a Sony A7S2, but that's my walk around camera, so. I had a bunch of A6300 laying around, and this is a, actually a kit lens, very nice 28 to 70 millimeter kit lens. Really like it for the Sony bodies. It's a very good cheap um, walk around lens, right? With 5x stabilization. For power, I've got it just connected to my computer for USB, so I don't have to replace the batteries. And I've got uh, HDMI uh, feeding through there. Now, for those of you who have a Sony A6500, 6300, make sure you guys make a small uh, protection here. So if, if this camera falls, it's gonna protect against the HDMI cable just falling out. So that's why I have that. But I got a little tripod there. Um, that's pretty much it. And right now I'm actually recording into my Atomus Ninja. This thing's great because you can use uh, SSD hard disk. And then I just slap it on. Sorry, it's a little wiry mess. I'm not too OCD. <laughs> Don't blame me. I can just slap it on and I can edit straight on from my SSD because it's so fast. That's why I'm using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And I've also got for audio, uh, if you guys want great audio, um, I've got a, this is a very good microphone. I actually have three of these, uh, Audio Technica ATA75R. I think it's 150 bucks. It's phantom powered. So I'm using a Zoom H4n, all right? Or my daughter has one too, all right? Uh, and if you don't wanna get the Zoom H4n, you can grab one of these phantom power, it's like 20 bucks and hook it up to your computer, use it that way too. So I've got it hooked up to my Zoom H4n. You can see right now it's um, Zoom H4n, so that way, I can have two copies. Sometimes audio gets messed up. I'll have a copy on my recorder, all right? And then I've got a, um, I've got an audio splitter. This is a special splitter uh, that will split it into camera and line. And I've got that feeding. I've got that line feeding to my Atomus Ninja. So I don't have to sync the audio later. Syncing audio isn't hard, but this is a little bit more convenient. So I don't have to sync the audio, but I'll have to sync the audio uh, of what I'm doing right now. So that's why I'm recording there. All right, so for audio, definitely use a phantom power. I prefer these microphones as uh, shotgun. You can have it off the screen uh, of the video. That way it won't get in the video. All right, get very good, clear audio. All right, so let me go ahead and show you for doing live streams 
or if you just want to use your webcam to record, um, you can use a free OBS. I use a paid version of XSplit Broadcaster. This thing's great for um, screencasting. Um, I just find it a little bit more professional than OBS. But uh, let me go ahead. And, so what I do is if I'm not using this one here, um, then I'll connect it. I'll connect it up to the HD60. Once it's connected, um, the video now should pop on here and you'll see how nice it looks with a nice bouquet. Look at that. See how it's so much clear resolution. The background's uh, blurred out nicely. Even though I'm using a kit lens, this looks like 10 times better than using any webcam you can buy. All right, so this is probably the way to go if you guys wanna make your you know, video look good, even if you're not using this full screen. All right, makes it look so much more clear even when shrunk down. Um, so I really like this setup. If you guys want to use your you know, nice cameras as webcam or you have like an older mirrorless camera or DSLR, um, definitely check out this setup and just set your camera there. This way you can get a very good clear video. And for software, you can use OBS or whatever you wanna use. Again, all you really need um, is some kind of software that you will be able to use to record and an encoder, game encoding devices such as the one I have here. You don't have to use this, but all of those are pretty much compatible with OBS or Xbox uh, Broadcaster. There's several other um, software out there, but this is my recommended. I started with OBS, but I ended up using this. Yeah, so really like this setup. Definitely love um, the bouquet on it. I mean, love it. it it's it looks so fresh. So. Yeah. The camera that I use uh, is the Sony A7R2 or the A7S2, A7S2 I'm using right now. I'll have another video on this, but I have this also feeding um, to the Atomus Ninja. All right. So I really love this Atomus Ninja. Um, highly recommend it for those of you um, getting serious with video um, because you have a little ex extra monitor. Also, this is an HDR monitor. Um, so highly recommend it. This is the actually the cheaper version, but I want to actually get several more of these. Anyways, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I'll put it in the description below. I do also have a high on cameras channel. Uh, from time to time, I'm going to start posting some of my camera stuff because I sort of forget about it and I don't forget about it. I know some of this could be helpful for a lot of those um, starting with YouTube or game streaming or, you know, in general, it's good knowledge to know. And I know Flossie actually asked me last time how to do better streams. Um, so I told him to get one of these and he still has not got it for his Amazon Warrior. So next time you see him, tell him to watch this video. <laughs> it's really simple. Um, you can hook up any camera on here. It don't even have to be a, a mirrorless camera. You can hook up a camcorder too, but definitely makes, I think, everything better. Um, also, if you're streaming, um, definitely you could fully stream in 1080p, which is really nice. Anyway, I got more Android stuff coming. Have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on cameras. Click here to subscribe.